The rapture of the Christians and the promise of paradise for the Muslims needs to be explained in modern terms. The rapture corresponds to the eighth color of the rainbow of hope given by God to Noah and his offspring. The rainbow corresponds to the hope modern man holds in his heart. These seven colors of the rainbow correspond to red rage, orange agony, yellow fear, green covetousness, blue sorrow, indigo mystery, and violet ecstasy. Ultraviolet corresponds to the rapture, the exaltation of God consciousness that comes with mastery of the rainbow that shines in the darkness of the heart in every human being who seeks self-love through love and inclusion of all people. Paradise comes from the Hebrew word pardes, which means orchard. The forbidden tree in the Garden of Eden is a metaphor for the inner forces in man, thinking, Adam, feeling, Eve, desiring, the serpent that hangs down from every man's tree, his penis. These fruits that hang under our desires not only hold the secret to life, semen, but the secret to good and evil. We're all trees in an orchard. Paradise refers to our job of creating paradise on earth, not waiting around to die to achieve it after life. Those who work for peace, whether inner peace or peace on earth, will be the recipients of paradise, whatever that means. Nobody can take the metaphors of Torah and use them to prove what will happen after life but we can all do our best to use God's words figuratively in all God's texts worldwide to learn how to become better and more humane. Life is a school. Graduation from this school in a way that leaves the religious feeling hopeful about death rather than scared requires a modern view of all faiths to unite us, gay and straight, Jew and Gentile, black and white. Calling Israel an apartheid regime isn't going to get the Palestinians a nation of their own. Peace leads to peace. Terrorism leads to death and humiliation of the scripture you take to heart. Choose life. But know that when you choose life, you choose love and inclusion. If you choose death, the blood of the innocent will be on your hands. Good thoughts. I'll tell you more about my figurative interpretations of the reason for God having created the Abrahamic faiths tomorrow.